Welcome to CBT Nuggets, but most importantly, welcome to EMC's Information Storage and Management course here at CBT Nuggets. My name is Anthony Sequera, and I am so incredibly thrilled you decided to join me for this journey as we move through the world of IT storage. We're gonna get specific on really important EMC products, and we are going to get very deep into some of the latest advancements in storage while reviewing some tried and true storage mechanisms. So today's a pretty typical day for me when it comes to my interactions with information technology. I downloaded Kiss's Greatest Hits. I took a picture of my wife on my iPhone. I made an airline reservation with Southwest.com. I sent a whole bunch of emails. I uploaded my senior class picture to Facebook. I took a video of my daughter. And of course, I created several CBT nuggets. What's the one aspect that we tend not to think of when we have a day like this? Well, we tend not to think about storage. The storage of all of the resources that we are utilizing. I mean, sure, I find somewhere to tuck away that Kiss album or the picture of my wife, but we often don't think about the burden on Southwest when it comes to their airline reservation system. Or how about Facebook when it comes to having and hosting all of those senior class pics uploaded every single day? Yes, it's storage, the forgotten element of information technology that we're going to focus on in this course. We're going through a real evolution right now when it comes to storage. Think about decades ago. Everybody was focusing on a direct attached storage device, and that was a nightmare. And then companies realized, okay, wait a minute. We have to start centralizing all this stuff we're storing into this big, fancy data center. And the data center concept was great, but what would happen inside that data center is you would have these partitions for different areas within the organization. They might even be physically partitioned within the data center. Now, of course, what we have is this trend towards virtualization. In fact, a lot of people like to say we have virtual data centers now where you're not going to physically partition stuff. You're going to use these great logical partitioning schemes that virtualization makes possible. This ends up saving a lot of money. It ends up saving a lot of administration headache and time. It makes for incredible efficiencies when it comes to utilizing this stuff. Think about the environmental concerns of heat and electrical costs and things of that nature. So virtual data centers are here to stay. And we'll be talking a lot about this evolution and learning specific aspects of it as we move throughout this killer course. Now, if you're like me, you want to learn stuff and you want to go ahead and prove that you've learned it. And that's where certification kicks in nice. And I've got great news for you. As we look at the many different certification tracks that EMC will offer you, notice that this course, EMC ISA, is going to be your foundation for just about every single one of these tracks. So from a certification standpoint, we are building an amazing, amazingly powerful, strong foundation, just like you would want on your house. 
Now, one of the things I'll be sure to do as we move throughout this course, where appropriate, where we have time, I don't want to get obnoxious with this, especially if you have absolutely zero interest in proving your knowledge with certification, but it will be great to review some key concepts with sample questions. And I will definitely do this sporadically throughout the course because my students report they really enjoy this. Now, while we're just as interested in real world as we are certification, we will go ahead and break up our discussion into the how many is that? Five major categories that EMC themselves would break this course up into. That's storage systems, that's storage networking technologies, backup archive and replication, cloud computing, and security and management. Notice some of these are what you would think more finite in scope, but it's amazing how many technologies we need to master when it comes to the important area of archive and backup and replication. And then some of them are very broad, like storage systems themselves. We will take all of this in small bite-sized nuggets. In fact, as you look over the course list, you might identify a few that you're expert in, and you might even consider omitting those nuggets from your playlist. If in doubt, please check out these concise nuggets so you know exactly what is expected of you as an EMC engineer. I hope you're as excited as I am to delve into this fascinating world of storage technologies and EMC's addressing of these various areas with their rather remarkable technologies. As always, my friend, I sure hope this nugget was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.